but we all do. We're all very strong people with very strong ideas. And we're going to get into chivalry, but I do want to mention the importance of listening. If I am on the stage performing a show, if I'm in a scene partner, if I'm in a scene with my partner and I want to say yes and, I cannot do it unless I've listened. I'd like everyone to stand up. Have our circle, please. Dog. Dog. Because they see what you're doing and they feel the truth in what you're doing. They don't laugh at you because you make a joke. So what we need to practice is what I call active listening. CJ, how would you say active listening? Active listening means listening to understand, not listening to think, what will I say next? 你要聽的是要聽了了解,而不是說聽了來怎麼給對方一個回應。Sometimes in a conversation, I I really enjoyed uh, the very interesting conversation. Oh, did we did we lose the the gentleman? Okay. I really enjoyed the conversation that Mike had with what's his name? Lile. The that Mike had with Lile because they had to listen to each other. If they were thinking if Mike was thinking, okay, what am I going to say to challenge him? then he's not really listening. So what we must do is practice active, list, practice active listening. So now we are going to tell a story together, one word at a time. I will say the first word. You will say the next word. Word, 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 around the circle. No. We're going to tell a story. For example, if the story is about the race car driving yesterday, I might say, Mike, and you might say, drove very fast, but surely drove faster. We're telling a story together, and we're listening only to what the person before us said. I cannot plan ahead. Because I can only listen to what Mike says. I can listen to everything that's come up, but I cannot make a choice until I hear what he says. This is very important. It's not good to be in a conversation, and when someone is speaking to you, you're only thinking, what will I say? Can you help me with that? You have to make sure that you're listening to understand the person, not listening to decide what you will say next. 你基本上只能够就是去听你前面的人跟你说的什么，你没办法去呃策划你下一步要怎么来说啊，这需要就这个全神贯注于前面的人说的话。So this exercise is one that I was saving for later. This exercise is one that I was saving for later, but I really think we need to work a little on our listening. So, I'm going to tell a story. Yesterday was Halloween. So we're going to tell a story about a girl named Sally that went to a Halloween party. We're going to tell the story of her Halloween party. One word at a time. 
我们以一一人一个字来形容这个 Sally 去这个万万圣节节的 party。啊，一个词，一个词。Relax. If you just open your minds, say the first word that comes to your mind, it will make sense. 我们只要放松，想到什么就说什么。Sally, chocolate. Sally, chocolate. Make a sentence. Sally, 要要讲一句，这这必须一个句子啊。No problem. No problem. So, yesterday, Sally. Like yesterday, Sally liked to go. Yesterday, Sally liked to go to. No, no, no. He's a her. Very good. Yesterday, Sally liked to go to her. His. Use Chinese. Ah, Chinese and English, no problem. Ah, no. Don't don't give them suggestions. You can try. 任何一个名词都可以。Yesterday, Sally liked to go to her. 他的什么？跟农岗，跟农岗。昨天他活动。Okay. Yesterday, Sally liked to go to her activity. 关于什么？ Yesterday, Sally liked to go to her activity about about Halloween. Yesterday, Sally liked to go to her activity about Halloween. 下一句 She 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 wore a a she wore a nice pretty costume. Yesterday, Sally liked to go to her activity about Halloween. She wore a nice, pretty costume. And and. Sally. Taken. Sally and Sally took. It's okay. It's okay. Uh. And Sally took a. Nice. Nice. 哪一个漂亮的啥？礼物。Present. And Sally took a nice present. And. And Sally took a nice present and a beautiful. Beautiful, 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 uh, beautiful spoon. Beautiful spoon. Spoon. And Sally took a nice present and a beautiful spoon. Next sentence. She. She. Then. Then. She. Then. 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 In a, she then participated in a participation. Party. All right. Okay. So, yesterday Sally liked to go to her activity. She wore a beautiful and pretty costume. She took a present and a spoon. She participated in a party. 下一句，李磊。And and good, that's right. And and she she and she keep it simple. And she. 一人一个词啊。And she performed. 她表演。形容词。Humor. Ah, funny humor. She performed. She performed a humorous show. Show, humorous show. She performed a humorous show, and that's good. Keeping it simple keeps it going. And weird. And weirdly. Very strange. 然后很奇怪的，嗯，你。She performed a funny show and weirdly. Actions. And weird actions. 下一句。And. Follow. With. A girl. Death. It's a Halloween story. So yesterday, Sally. 
Yesterday, Sally went on a very interesting activity. She wore a very beautiful costume. She took a present and a spoon. She participated in the activity, She in, in the party. She did a funny show. She performed a funny show. She performed a funny show with weird actions, and then she died. <laughs> you created an interesting story together. You created an interesting story together because you were doing it as a team. You were listening, and you were not planning ahead. Remember, one of the important things about Ji Xing Biaoyan, Ji Hua Gamushan Bian Hua. Am I saying that correctly? Yeah, yeah. Ji Hua Gamushan Bian Hua. You can make lots of plans, but something will always get in the way of the plans. If you are very tied to your plans and only to your plans, you will have a very unhappy day. You must be able to move from that. So for the rest of today, I ask you to do your best to close your mouth as much as you can and listen until it is your turn. To do that and to demonstrate <coughs> chivalry, we'll wait a minute. Our next activity, we will not speak Chinese. This is called gibberish. This is a challenge for you, CJ. How do you say gibberish in Chinese? Uh, I don't know. Uh... Uh, it's not a real language, obviously. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to let you guys sit down. Except for Mike and two other volunteers. Sorry to pay for my answer. And two other volunteers. I'm going to ask Cece to come join us. No, that's Cece. What is your name? Fiona. Fiona, as in Shrek. I remember now. Fiona can come join us. And Kim Sung, can you come? Again? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And one more. Ah, come join us. What was your name again? Ada. 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 Now, here's the funny thing. Today, Ada killed somebody. Yes. Now, what what's going to happen is Ada has to communicate three things. What is her job? Where did she kill this person? And what did she kill them with? But to do this, she has to use body language. For example, if I want to communicate to Ada what is the job, I might go. <laughs> what do you think my job is? Dentist. dentist, right? So when you understand that it's dentist, you don't just say, yes, I understand. You join me in the scene. So pretend I'm really a dentist. What would you do? Ah. Uh, how would you react if I was really a dentist? Ah. Uh, Oh, <laughs> uh, and then she could touch her nose, and this shows me she understands that it is dentist. Do you understand? Right? So now she understands it's dentist. So if I want to show her the place, the place that the murder took place, I might say, I'll right there. Join me in. Do what I do. So. And you understand you do this. So where were we? Swimming. Swimming pool. All right? And if I wanted to demonstrate to her what was the murder weapon, I would do this. Now, but this is the third thing. 
Instead of doing this, take, what are these? Okay. What are they? Right. Kill me with the chopsticks. Use Use the the shot shot. Ah! And I die. Then, I'm dead. Now the next person would come in. Fiona would then come in from, these three are outside. They don't know what's going on. When Fiona comes in, Ada has to communicate to her, what is the job? What is the place? And what is the object? When you understand what is the job, join her in the job. Do the job with her. And then touch your nose to show you understand. When she demonstrates the place, the location, join her in the location act to show you understand it. Then touch your nose. When she demonstrates the object, kill her. And we're, it's called, this game is called chain murder. How would we say chain murder? <laughs> because all of these people are going to die today. So I'm going to ask you three to please go outside and wait for a moment. I will ask you to come back in one at a time. Yes? When I uh, do the Yes, but we're getting new suggestions for you. You have to repeat. But you're starting. I'm not in the game now. It's just you. Uh, just so, don't worry. I'm okay. So, let's get an example of what this game is called. Uh, what is an, an occupation? Like, Dr. Ie Doctor What is an occupation? Like, Dr. Ie Chengguan. Chengguan. What's another occupation, another job? A what? A nanny. How do you say that in Chinese? A yi. Oh, all right. So that means you take care of babies, right? So you know how to do that, right? I don't know. I don't have a baby. <laughs> no, but you think you do, right? Okay. And remember, no English, no Chinese, just body language. If you need to talk, you say, well, who's got some? I'm sure there's more language. It's all right. So her job is she takes care of babies. What is her place? What is the location? Where are they? Let's make it some place that a nanny would not be, an unusual place. A bar. A bar. Jiuba. Okay. A nanny in a jiuba. Jiuba. Baomu. So she's a nanny in a bar, and we need an ordinary object. So, um, <coughs> let me ask you, if you look in your bag, tell me three things that are in your bag right now. Tell me three things that are in your bag right now. Telephone. Wallet, 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 uh, and uh, business card. Business card, me yeah. yeah. So your object. 杀人凶器，钱包，名片，还有那个手机，哪个是杀人凶器？ Okay. This is the place, and this is the object. What? Understand? Okay. Don't worry, I'm gonna help you. So let's bring them in one at a time. Chinese man. Xiao Xiao Liu Fei Pian. Ah, not, 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 First, what is the job? I mean, what is the job? Bow <laughs> shot. Fiona, if you think you know, show her. Good. Now, Ada, show her. <laughs> okay. No English, just our 
Good, good, Ada. Good, Ada, she's your children. Good. Now the third thing is the object. No, Mike will kill you. Mike. Okay, Ada. I'm sorry, Fiona. First, show him the job. The job. Mike, if you understand the job, help her with the job. Join her in the job. Show Mike a This has to be done. Okay, but the last time that Good, Mike. Good. And if you're good, all right. Now move on to the location, the place. D5. Understand it, kill her with the object. Mike, kill Fiona. All right, Fiona, go have a seat. Now remember, no English, but all this is this because that car first. Go. Oh, First, the job, Mike. Demonstrate to Kim and Jimson what is the job. <laughs> that's the same job. That's the same job that Fiona showed you. <laughs> it should be the same job Fiona showed. You. Oh, the same job. Yeah, you're from the same job. So uh, ignore that. Forget that. No, no, no. Not in this. Not in this story. Same story. It's about communicating down the line. I thought you would have it. Gentle the way you Okay, if you understand his job, go join him and help him with his job. When you know that you know what the job is, touch your nose to show him you understand. Your nose. If you understand, good. Okay, now he will move on to the place. Chengfu. Mm. Mm. 
。你要跟他一起演。Understand what the place is if you do. Okay, good. Now move on to the object, Mike. Understand the object. Kill him with the object. Use the object to kill him. <laughs> no, you have to be creative, but you can kill him with it. <laughs> no Chinese, no English. Just body language and fake language. <laughs> Ada, Fiona, Mike, and very good, Jimson. Kimson. Okay, Kimson. What was the job? The first thing, the job. What was the job you were showing? Oh, Daddy. Nurse. Mother. It was someone takes care of a child. Very good. What was the location? What was the place? Um, bar. The bar. Very, very good. And finally, what was the object, the thing he gave you that you killed him with? Kimson. What was the object? That object is what? Uh, a name card. Name card. Very good. That's exactly right. Very, very good. Now imagine.